Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody is well. Gemini, we're throwing them down for you for February 2022. Pardon the clutter costs on the table. I got my coffee, I got my water, I got my backup caffeine if I run out of coffee. The King of Wands popped out for you. We're just going to go ahead and get it started. This will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. February 2022. The card's a good shuffle. You could possibly be dealing with a fire sign. I'm feeling Aries. Might not be. Could be a Leo. Could be a Sage. It's putting off a huge Aries vibe. Or you're just in your King of Wands energy of hold my beer and watch this shit. I don't know. Definitely a go forth, do and ask questions later kind of energy coming off of that right now. Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Decision time. Two of Pentacles. Oh, gosh. I got to start doing this live. I never remember to tip down. Mm. You view the person that you're dealing with. you feel about them as the knight of swords just kind of flew out of nowhere maybe could be an air sign they could be chatty they you could you know feel like they know a little bit too much too this is a whole lot of water cards i'm gonna put it back but we're gonna address it real quick nine of pentacles hanged man knight of pentacles four of pentacles justice six of pentacles huh a lot of pentacle energy Pisces, Libra. Huh. This feels past. This feels past. Let's we'll see if they come back out. Feels like somebody had to learn a lesson in independence or be independent from a situation before they could come back in with an offer. We'll see if any of it comes back out. What you think of them? Judgment. Hmm. Maybe you might come back and resurrect something. Your intentions is temperance. That's positive energy. Ultimate outcome is the rebuilding of the tower. Four of Wands, Celebration, 11-11. They may be something here, y'all. They may be something here. All right. Let's see if I can get a flyer out of this for the person you're dealing with. Hey! Eight of Cups. And then I say somebody come back. Didn't I just say that? I told you this felt like a comeback. All right. Four of Wands reversed, right? That door is still closed. Hmm. I'm going to move this out of the way for a second. The door is still closed, friends. Oh, shoot. Mm. Emperor reversed. One must humble themselves. But their intentions toward you is the king of pentacles. I told you, pentacle energy. This is a comeback. This could be a big comeback. However, the door is closed right now. They feel by you the ace of cups reversed. They think of you as the nine of cups reversed. They don't know how well received they would be. Bottom of the deck, page of swords. They're afraid to come forward. Huh. That's very interesting. That's that's little Silent Sam right there. Huh. All right. Okay, Gemini. Let's get a little clarity for you. I don't think I need much.
to me about the Two of Pentacles for Gemini. Oh, cherry reverse. <coughs> Do we move forth? I know the cherry ain't moving. Could be a question of whether or not to close a gap. Emotional, physical. Two of Swords. Ace of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Do we or don't we? Mm. King of Wands, Ace of Wands. It's that the juggling, the weighing of the odds, making the decision with all the clarity you need. Talking about this Knight of Swords, how you feel about the other person. Talk to me about the Knight of Swords. Somebody fly in and fly out. Death. It feels like a fly in and a fly out in the end of a cycle. Beginning of a new one. Ten of Wands. They had something they had to release. They had something else they had to close out. Or that's the vibe they gave you. Eight of Swords. Yeah, they had... They come out of their cage about something. They had to come out of a cage about something. There was something holding them up. Talk to me about judgment. Talk to me about judgment. Talk to me about judgment. Sun reverse. The wheel. It's the wheel of destiny. Friends. Why is the sun reversed? That's what I'd like to know. Why is the sun reversed? Queen of Wands. Mm. Oh, insert whatever pronoun fits. Just go with it. That's a free spirit right there. And I'm just throwing this out there. She's the only queen with her legs spread. I'm not, not throwing shade. I'm stating facts. Any queen of wands you look at, her legs are always spread. I'm just throwing that out there. There was some sexual energy here for real. <sighs> Not a happy person, though. So the question is, where's that wheel of destiny going to spin you to? It's judgment. It's the card of resurrection. Knight of Wands reversed. You don't know if you want to move forward with this or not, because you don't know if it's going to make you happy. You don't know if they're going to ride in or ride out again. Okay. Okay. Temperance. Talk to me about temperance. Positive energies, things flowing back together. Ten of Pentacles, y'all. Remember all that Pentacle energy from earlier? Boom, boom. Boom, boom. There's potential here. There is potential. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Hey, who are you? Oh, okay. There's potential, but there's that inability to let go. Like, you holding on to stuff. It's the willingness to come into this with a positive attitude and a clean slate, but there's still some shit you're holding on to. Like, the, the, the ride in and the ride out. Give me one more on that. And we'll move on to the person you're dealing with. Laying things to rest. Can you really lay things to rest when you got a sword at your side? Can you really lay things to rest and go forth hell or high water with the potential of this if you're always going to have a sword at your side? That's, that's something you have to ask yourself. 
The outcome is the rebuilding of the tower. We'll address that in a second. Talk to me about this four of wands reversed for the person Gemini is dealing with, please. Talk to me about this four of wands reversed. The tower. You know my four of wands reversed is my minor arcana tower, right? Clarified by a tower. One more. That's not just a closed door. That's a pile of rubble. Whatever went down was disastrous. And I think that's why they're so quiet right now. And they don't know how well received they're going to be. Possibly it was so disastrous because there was a new connection that came in. That's why somebody wrote in, wrote out. Could be. Maybe they're already dealing with someone new. Justice came back out. The leveling of the scales. The cutting out of the BS. Mm. I'm talking about the Stacey Cups. Yeah, it's, it's how they feel about you. They felt left out in the cold by you. The dumped cup. Not sure why. Can I get a why? Why would they feel that way? Why would they feel that way? Lack of communication. Lack of forward movement. Eight of wands reversed. Hmm. It's interesting. All right, what are they thinking? You nine of cups reversed. Why are the nine of cups reversed? <sighs> Gemini, not throwing shade. I've dated Geminis. I, I I have friends that are Geminis. I am not throwing shade when I say this. I'm making an observation. Some y'all, and I love you to pieces, you know that. Some of my best friends are Geminis. You can be the most emotionally closed off people on the planet at times. You can. You can. When, when, specifically, when someone has screwed you over once, you do not let them screw you twice. <laughs> yes. Making an observation, not meaning to throw shade. It's you strengthen your weakness at the same time. They think you're emotionally closed off. They think you no longer hold a cup for them. The fool came out. Possibly you jumped a little too quickly. Possibly you were always off to something. Oh boy. Hmm. Why the three of cups? Ace of cups. They already think you're off to something new or you're just hanging out with friends, filling your cup with other things, possibly off to the new. They don't know how well they are going to be received if they return. Talk about their intentions. Why the king of pentacles? The lovers. Oh my. Oh my. Gem. Baby. One more. Ten cups. I'm not clarifying that anymore. I'm not. They want happiness. They want you. They want you. I feel like they know how bad they've screwed up and they want to level the playing field. They want you. Wow. All right, let's talk about this tower reversed for Gem for the outcome. The 
healing, healing. High Priestess, being led and guided, not knowing what it's, not knowing what's going to happen. Allowing the healing and the rebuilding of the tower, the playing out how things are just supposed to play out. Give me one more. End to conflict. Queen of Pentacles. You know what? Y'all, this is beautiful. Gemini, probably the most beautiful reading I've done. Why the emperor reversed for the outcome for them? This is the humbling. Coming out of a state of sadness. Five of cups reversed. Walking away. An end to sadness and end to conflict. Healing. The power couple of the tarot. Oh, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. Hermit. Hermit at the bottom of the deck. We're leaving it. We're leaving it. I'm not even pulling off the bottom because this is beautiful. But y'all got to go inside and ask yourself, can I let go of the past? Can I let go of what has happened and accept this? Can we allow for an end to sadness and an end to conflict and the healing and letting things sort themselves out to be the power couple that we're supposed to be. The Hierophant. Oh my gosh. You know what? Let's get a wisdom on this. Let's get a wisdom. Exchanging gifts. Number 27. Beautiful. I feel all warm and fuzzy inside now for you guys. Seriously, I do. The law of giving and receiving, currency, trade-offs, weighing costs, and determining value. Love is an exchange of life force energy between two beings. It grows exponentially when it's reciprocated. You must give and receive in order for love to flourish and abundance to flow between you. Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you as well as offer the same gift in return open your heart and allow it to be filled let love in and let it flow out of you too love is truly yours today gemini i'm close I'm, I'm leaving it i'm leaving it there this is freaking beautiful have a blessed february thank you so much for coming by and hanging out don't forget to hit that like button if you wouldn't mind i mean you know be super cool of you if you're new hit subscribe and the notification bell so you can come hang out more when you find out when i upload and if you think you got a friend that might need this message go ahead and share it but anyway i'm going to close out thanks again for coming by know that you are loved be blessed i send you off with peace love and light and i will catch you when i catch you